Namaste, Sitaram. A pleasant good morning. Welcome to Rudraya. I'm your host, Nisha Sharma. And Rudraya is being brought to you with the kind compliments of Maha Rudradev Mandir. And of course, the Mandir is located at 850 Tapscott Road, Unit 34 in Scarborough, with Tapscott and McNichol being our closest intersection. So today is a very special program as with every and each segment of Rudraya is always special. We're always celebrating something special on this beautiful Saturday morning. And uh, today is, is no different. We are dedicating this entire program to our spiritual leader as he celebrated his birthday this past week. So on behalf of the crew at Rudraya as well as Maha Rudradev Mandir and of course his children and his yours truly as well as his mom and everybody else and I'm sure you the viewers want to wish him a very happy birthday. So we'll now join him for our Pravachan, our spiritual leader Pandit Ravi Sharma. <laughs> Oh, 
भगवत गीते चैप्टर इतने तेल जस मन मना भाव मत भक्तो मध्याजी माम नमस्कृत मामे वैश्य सी युक्त वै मत परायन हम दैट ही विल ऑलवेज थिंक ऑफ मी ही ही विल ऑलवेज बी डिवोटेड अंत मी आई विल रिवॉर्ड सच एन इंडिविजुअल एंड आई विल ऑलवेज बी पार्ट एंड पार्सल ऑफ सच एन इंडिविजुअल द जस्ट ऑफ द मीन एन भगवान कृष्णा कृष्णा सेल्फ मींस दैट व्हिच attracts It is stated on one occasion that Bhagwan Krishna was standing in front of the mirror and of course the purpose of the mirror was to make sure that our hair is right uh, make sure our makeup is perhaps right make sure that our attire is all right before we face others And so Bhagwan Krishna was seen standing in front of the mirror decorating himself He was a king. And so he was trying on different crowns. The king has different crowns different days. And so he was trying on these different crowns upon his head, some with fine jewelry. And so it is said that his charioteer waited outside upon the chariot. The charioteer waited a on the outside patiently waiting for the lord himself to come and so he thought to himself that my lord is taking so long let me see what is taking him so long so he goes and he stands on the outside but the door was open and he sees bhagwan krishna trying on different type of crowns upon the, his head some were gold studded some were diamond studded some were silver studded rare soul type of jewelry and so he would try on the gold crown and he will put it on and he will take up the uh the diamond crown you put up on his head look at it mm, he'll put it on and so out of curiosity he comes and he says that lord it is not my desire to question you but uh, For what reason are you trying on all of these different crowns? And Bhagwan Krishna was put on the crown and admired himself. So he says that Lord, why are you dressing up so much? Why do you want the best? You want to look your best, especially today. Where are we going? It is your command. my desire to fulfill and krishna states that oh i am going to meet duryodhan duryodhan charitya indicated that you are dressing up so much to meet duryodhan krishna says that yes i want to look my extreme best for duryodhan today you see Duryodhan he cannot see my inside so how i'm dressed up will impress him because he cannot see what is inside so the charity i have become more confused and he says that you are going to see duryodhan you should not go he should come to you you are a king you are a king here why should the servant have to come towards the king those who are beneath the king why and so krishna comes and he states <laughs> as he smiles he listens to the words of his charity he says that he should come i cannot accept that you have to dress up to go and see him and so he continues to say this is not fair look at your status and look at him you are the lord of the world you should not go so krishna himself Krishnam bande jagat guru as a supreme guru as a supreme spirit that speaks to our own self he smiles and he indicates that listen darkness does not come into light light has to go into darkness to illumine the room itself is dark but immediately the flicker of the light When the light enters it illumines the place 
so hence in such meaning duradan is considered as darkness and so it is my desire to go and uplift or to remove the darkness that he is in friends we may look at this and think that's a very beautiful story but it is so profound and so the darkness of duridan is equated to agyan agyan itself means not not having spirituality agyan itself means not having dispassion agyan itself means not having the knowledge to understand when there is a superior type of knowledge in front of us there's paran appara type of knowledge there's worldly knowledge which will help you eke a living but there is the upper one spiritual knowledge which will help you illumine your pathway friends when we can apply these simple katha these simple stories that are dear from our scriptures and apply it in our life agyanam timirandasya then agyanta the darkness that we may be going through in life if we allow the light of krishna to come and enter within us then we achieve all that is there in our life may the blessings of the lord be upon each and every one of you om namah shivaya चले बबुरी रघु a great time to just uh, you know reminisce about Maharajadev Mandir and when we started this beautiful mission of Rudraya as well as our Mandir and that was approximately six years ago right here uh, in August when we uh, celebrated um, our first service during the Krishna Janam Ashtami um, celebrations uh, so every year Rather than celebrating uh, Maharujadev Mandir's anniversary on a particular date, we actually celebrated on Krishna Janam. So that's a little bit of history of uh, Maharujadev Mandir. And of course, as I mentioned at the beginning of the program, we're celebrating our spiritual leader's birthday, Pandit Ravi Sharma. And of course, since inception of Maharujadev Mandir, Pandit Ravi has been the spiritual leader of both Maharajadev Mandir and Rajaya. So we want to wish him a very, very happy birthday. And without further ado, we'll get straight into our health segment with our Dr. Sachin Ramkisun. Enjoy. Sitaram and welcome to Health Corner. I am Dr. Sachin Ramkisun, and today we start a two-part pregnancy series focusing on fetal growth and development. This first part will discuss the various stages of growth of the fetus 
and next week we will talk about how the fetus is affected by its surrounding environment. The growth and development of the fetus is one of the most complicated and fascinating processes in all of medicine. It involves hundreds of steps, each occurring in sequential order that follows a predictable course. This is why there are many resources available that can tell you the week-by-week -week growth of the fetus and outline what stage you may be at. This predictable course of development also means that by looking at the fetus with ultrasound, you can see what stage it is at and get an accurate estimate of the fetal age. The overall length of time for a fetus to develop is calculated at about 40 weeks and is based on the date of the last menstrual cycle. Fertilization occurs when the sperm meets the egg. There are 23 chromosomes from the father and 23 from the mother. These chromosomes are what determine the baby's physical characteristics and sex. The first stage of development after fertilization is the most crucial. This is where the first cell divides rapidly into the parts that will form the embryo and the parts that will form the outer sac that will nourish and protect it during development. By week five of pregnancy, the baby is just the size of the tip of a pen. This is where the brain, the spinal cord, heart, and other organs begin to form. By week six, the facial features begin to appear, including passageways that will form the ears and mouth. Small buds appear that will form the arms and legs. By week eight, baby's arms and legs grow longer and fingers and toes begin to develop. By week 10, baby's head becomes larger and eyelids form to protect the eyes. At this point, it is only about one inch in size. By week 12, or the end of the first trimester, baby has developed a human profile and all the organs have formed. The size at this stage is still only about two and a half inches. From this point onward, the pregnancy focuses on growth of the features that have developed in the first 12 weeks. This is an important concept. The first 12 weeks are crucial in the development of all of baby's organs and physical structures. The remaining 28 weeks of the pregnancy are where those structures rapidly grow in size to a fully grown term baby. No new organs or structures form after the first 12 weeks, just the growth of the existing organs. This is important to know since this means that the first 12 weeks is where baby is most susceptible to growth abnormalities and environmental influence. This means that these first 12 weeks of rapid organ development is where abnormalities can occur and also the period of time that miscarriages are most common. If the development does not go as planned and there are major abnormalities in development, then the body terminates the pregnancy resulting in a miscarriage. A fascinating fact of fetal development is that it mimics the stages of evolution. For instance, there are stages of fetal development where gill slits grow from the sides of the neck, where a tail is present, and where the fetus is covered in fine hairs all over the body. This concept is referred to as ontology recapitulates phylogeny, or the stages of fetal development mimics the evolutionary steps. It is truly amazing when you think about fetal development and its hundreds of steps that are involved. Each has to occur in a specific and sequential order or the pregnancy may be terminated by the body. Yet, the fact that so many babies are born happy and healthy highlights this fact that fetal development during pregnancy should truly be considered a great miracle. Next week, we will discuss how the environment can influence the developing fetus. Thank you for joining me on Health Corner, and I look forward to speaking with you again next week on Udraya. Isme Bhagavat, Isme Gita, Bhajo Mana Ram, Bhajo Mana Krishna, Bhajo Mana Ram, Bhajo Mana Krishna.
I hope you've enjoyed the health segment and of course we're getting straight into a corporate segment with our host Kamalji from Lotus Funeral Home. Sitram and Namaste. My name is Kamal Bardwaj and I'm the owner of Lotus Funeral and Cremation Center in Toronto and Kitchener Funeral Home and Crematorium in Kitchener. I'm also a licensed funeral director. So much has changed when it comes to how families are able to support each other in the grieving process at a funeral due to COVID-19 restrictions. In particular, when it comes to those who live abroad and cannot attend a funeral service, for example, if you live in the U.S. and you want to travel to Toronto to attend a loved one's funeral, the issue is self-isolation for 14 days when arriving into Canada, which may prevent you to attend a funeral service or to meet that timeline. People have now turned to live streaming and events such as on Zoom, where everyone who's abroad can watch and interact with a visitation and service. Just recently, we did a funeral at Lotus where there were several speeches and songs conducted from families living in the U.S. and from Trinidad. The family was truly appreciative that their other family members living outside of Canada were able to say their final goodbyes with speeches to the audience in attendance as well as watch the entire service, including the walk into our crematorium. At Lotus Funeral and Cremation Center and at Kitchener Funeral Homes and Crematorium, we operate seven days a week and 24 hours a day. Our crematorium is located in our building, so we never have to leave our building in bad or cold weather for a cremation. Our crematorium space can have a large group of people to attend their cremation as well. For Hindu families, we can provide all the puja items, including fresh leaves and a haven kund. We have large halls that can accommodate large seating to smaller ones. We are centrally located for families in the west and from families in the east. For more information, please contact me from the telephone number on your screen. Thank you for watching and see you next week on Rudraya. Sitaram. Life is beautiful, but death is inevitable. I realized this when my dad passed away. So much pain and amidst all this, the worry of arranging a funeral. Thankfully, in all this, Kamal stood by me. From the viewing to the cremation, he arranged it all at one location. Once someone is gone, they don't come back. But Lotus Funeral Home knows how to give them a respectable farewell. Lotus Funeral Home. Life must be celebrated. Jai Sita Ram, Sita Ram, Sita Ram, Sita Ram, Jai Sita Ram, Sita Ram, Sita Ram, Sita Ram, Sita Ram, Jai 
mentioned at the beginning of the program today we celebrated our spiritual leader's birthday Pandit Ravi Sharma and of course we wish him Lord Shiva's choicest blessings of all of life's greatest treasures treasures and of course at this time one of those greatest treasures is health and happiness so uh, to our spiritual leader Pandit Ravi and I'm sure that you are also want to wish him the uh, you know your best wishes on this joyous occasion so of course um, we'll end our show with a celebration of his his birthday and we'd just like to thank our kind sponsors at Maharujadev Mandir as well as our executive producer Gary Khan for making Rajab possible and my dear viewers I'd just like to leave you with one of my favorite saying and it goes like life is like a camera just focus on what's important and capture the good times. Develop from the negatives. And if things don't work out, just take another shot. So with these wonderful words of wisdom, I would leave you. And I look forward to seeing you right here next week on Rajaya. Have a blessed week. Stay safe and stay healthy. Namaste. <laughs> It's a birthday, so let me party. Let's gather to cut the cake. Cheers to your life, let's celebrate. Happy birthday to you. Another great year for you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Hey, hey, do a big,